Martin, is it the right time for George to retire? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We've, we've had 10 very happy years. And I think George is too old to carry on as a working police. Well, that may be the case, my friend, but your problem as an actor is you don't look too old. Although you're even older than George is supposed to be in the <laughs> series, <laughs> you're, you're past retirement age, but how do you look so good? You're looking good on it. Well, thank you. I don't know. I mean, I don't think about it very much, apart from first thing in the morning when I say, who's that in the mirror? Uh -huh. but, um, no, I think, I mean, I've been vegetarian for 46 years, as you probably know, uh, and I don't drink or smoke, so that probably helps. And do you keep fit? Do you work out? Or do you have any Not kind of exercise? as much as I should. Yeah. You know, my, my partner is a yoga teacher and she's, we've got a yoga studio next door to the house where she teaches and she says, are you coming into class tonight? And I'll go, ah, no. <laughs> you well, know. Has, she got, has she managed to get you into any class? Oh, yeah. yeah. I've been into several classes and I, and I do it irregularly, but, but not assiduously and every day like she does. So you can't get your leg up around your <laughs> neck or anything? No. Because <laughs> if I said yes, you'd have to do it. Of course I would. <laughs> Just it's worth a try, wasn't yeah, it? It's worth, worth asking. Yeah, yeah. This final series, Sunday half past eight, BBC One, uh, it gets underway. Tell us about George. I mean, do you know what? If you haven't watched George gently, you're, you're missing a treat, but you can join it for the last series, even if you've never seen sure. it before. Yeah. Mm. Tell, us, tell us about him. He's, um, he's a warrior, uh, and he's one of that generation, because uh, it's set in 1970 and it started in the 60s. Mm. So he's one of that generation who fought through the war. And one of those wonderful people who believed that this was a, a righteous conflict to defeat Nazis. Um, and, and with that frame of mind, he went into the police force, you know, that, that right is right and wrong must be eradicated and that criminals must be sought. Uh, and it's, the, it's George's upright sense of honour and nobility that drives him. Well, how, so how will he deal with, as you said, the series started you know, ten years ago in the, in the 60s. Mm. So we're now in the 70s, technology will be changing, exactly. the police force will be changing, policing will be changing. Mm. How's he going to deal with the 70s? Not terribly well. I mean, I think he's, be, he's bewildered by the, the new building that they've moved into. Um, he's bewildered by a coffee machine because he's, <laughs> you know, he's just... <laughs> Kettle, spoon, wallop, <laughs> you know, but the, the coffee machine in the not know how it works and all that, you know, it, it's a whole new world. The, it, forensically, I mean, it's a, it would be a nightmare nowadays yeah. because he goes to a crime scene, yeah. takes out a pocket handkerchief, and picks up the evidence, yeah. you know. <laughs> now fine. you'd have to have a white zip up suit and yeah. helmet exactly. things. You've been living that character, George Shelley, for 10 years. That's a long time. Mm. As an actor, is it hard to let go of a character, or, or are you, is that work? You just park him now and say, I've done I that, think so. move on. Yeah, um, and because, you know, it's very intense while you're doing it. Uh, and while, whilst I'm filming, I'm away from home, because we're filming yeah. it in, in Durham. And then when it stopped, it stopped. And usually at the end of an intensive filming period, you just, you just can't wait to stop anyway. Mm. I think with stage work, it's harder to put down because you're concentrating on it for two and a half to three hours, whereas all of that is in, like, three-minute segments. Mm -hmm. you know. But nevertheless, to me, my friend, your real achievement as an actor is not creating memorable, iconic parts like Doyle in The Professionals or Deeds, uh, or, or Deed or indeed Gently here. It's actually creating them and then moving on to something else so that we actually, we think we're not going to forget them, but we do forget them because well, you're so good. good at the next thing you do. What's going to be the next thing you're, you're going to do? Do you know? Next thing I do on film and television, I don't know. I, uh, there are things, as, they say, as every actor will tell you, there are things in development, <laughs> folks, but there are, which there are. But I'm, no, I'm going to do a, a play next in the West End because it's always good to put that in between, you know, and, and reconnect with the real hard work, you know, the yeah. creative... And a light back to a live audience. And back to a live audience, yeah. Yeah. Well, continue doing what you do. An absolute pleasure and privilege. And Lovely we to say you, goodbye Martin. to you. We say goodbye to George Gently as well, and hello and every success with what's to come. Yeah, Thank and that's very much Sunday, 8.30, BBC One. It is the final series. Mm. Do not miss it. Thank you, Martin. Thank you. Thank you, you both.